going to go away. Let's watch the mini concert in Songi together. I'm very busy, I'm not going with you. What made you so busy? Examination is coming. I failed in the IQT last time. I don't want to fail it again. But there are two months to go before the final exam. I don't want to left behind. Please leave me alone. Left behind? I don't think you left it. I mean left behind. Leave me alone, please. In the story, what does left behind mean? A. Fall behind someone or something. B. Catch up with someone or something. C. Maintain the pace or progress of someone or something. The answer is A. Lag behind means to make progress so slowly that you are behind other people or things. Don't forget to do your readings for class or you will lag behind. Now, let's watch a featured video to learn more about this idiom. Which of the following words is similar in meaning to left behind? A. Surpass B. Overtake C. Drop behind The answer is D. Drop behind Drop behind is similar in meaning to lag behind. Surpass and overtake are the opposite. They mean doing better than someone or something else in some activity. Now, Let's watch the scenes again to review this video. Dada, what are you doing? Let's watch the mini concert in Songi together. I'm very busy, I'm not going with you. What made you so busy? Examination is coming. I failed in the IQT last time. I don't want to fail it again. But there are two months to go before the final exam. I don't want to left behind. Please leave me alone. Left behind? I don't think you left it. I mean left behind. Leave me alone, please. In the story, what does stressed out mean? A. Tried to get someone to do something. B. Under tremendous pressure. C. Made demands on someone. D. Persuaded one to do something or act in a certain way. The answer is B. Stressed out means experiencing a lot of mental, emotional, or physical strain or tension. Nicola has been stressed out since she started her new job. I can't believe he's stressed out about something so trivial. Now, let's watch a featured video to learn more about this idiom. Which of the following words are the opposite of stressed out? A. Strained B. Anxious C. Tense D. Relaxed D. 
The answer is D. Relax. Strained, anxious, and tense have the same meaning as stressed out. Relaxed is the opposite. It means calm and not worried. Now, let's watch the scenes again to review this idiom. Captain, why are you playing the violin here? It's because the final examination is coming. But you are already very outstanding. I aim at getting a distinction in the examination. Is distinction very hard to obtain? Definitely, yes. I'm stressed out. Just leave me alone. Stressed out? You are going to a cotton party? No, I mean I'm stressed out. Just leave me alone, please. Captain, why you look so frustrated? It's because I did not do well in the Irish and the final examination. Don't lose heart. This is just a minor setback. I haven't lost my heart. I'm still very healthy. What I mean is your efforts will pay off if you keep trying. Don't feel confident in yourself. True. Chan just helped me to grow. Thank you for encouragement. In the story, what does fool's heart mean? A. Be cheerful. B. Be hopeful. C. Be discouraged. The answer is C. Lose heart means to stop believing that you can succeed. Don't lose heart. Keep trying. You are able to achieve your goal. Now, let's watch a featured video to reveal this idiom. Which of the following is the opposite of losing heart? A. Hopeful B. Disappointed C. Pessimistic The answer is A. Hopeful Disappointed and pessimistic are similar in meaning to losing heart. Hopeful is the opposite. It means full of hope. Now, let's watch the scenes again to reveal this idiom. Captain, why you look so frustrated? It's because I did not do well in the Irish and the final examination. Don't lose heart. This is just a minor setback. I haven't lost my heart. I'm still very healthy. What I mean is your efforts will pay off if you keep trying. Don't feel confident in yourself. Mm, true. Chan just helped me to grow. Thank you for encouragement. Now let's review the vocabulary that we have learned. Lag behind. Lag behind. Surpass. Surpass. Stressed out. Stressed out. Anxious. Anxious. Relaxed. Relaxed. Disappointed. Disappointed, hopeful, hopeful. Drop behind, drop behind. Overtake, overtake. Strength, strength. Tense, tense. Lose heart, lose heart. Pessimistic, pessimistic. Watch this. One little piece of paper can have a remarkable effect. Stress is stressful. But if you understand a bit about what it is, you'll be better able to deal with it. First though, take a few deep breaths. In fact, do that any time you feel stressed. It helps. Stress is a survival mechanism. When danger appears, it can get you out of trouble quickly. Your body crashes up the gears and throws all its resources into getting you moving. Your heart pumps furiously to increase blood pressure. Glucose is sent to the muscles as a fuel injection. And you become totally focused on what psychologists call fight or flight. Thing is, this emergency state is only meant to last just long enough 
to get you out of danger. But here in the 21st century, we stress about different things and for much, much longer. Your brain and body stay on red alert and you'll be less able to think clearly, learn or remember things. Take a few more deep breaths. Because, as you now know, stress is a physical reaction and deep breathing helps to counteract its effects. So, what else can you do? Okay, top tips to reduce stress. First, get plenty of exercise. Let out all that locked up energy. Now, back to the problem. Get in control. Scope out the situation and how you're going to tackle it. Don't stress alone. Talk to someone. Socialize and have a laugh. You can't laugh and quake with fear at the same time. Get down with nature on a big or small scale. And if your mind won't stop worrying, it's something else to do instead.